I've just come across a video that reminded me of a, an event in 2018. Uh, one where I've experienced myself human behaviour. So I made a commitment to the power team. The, I actually stood in front of nearly 200 people and um, committed to climbing a power, uh, power tower. Uh, so what you'll, you'll see the 400 kV cables that run uh, across the country carrying the power to our houses. Um, we have linesmen that work on those and I was taught at an early age you should not ask somebody to do something you're not prepared to do yourself. So I went to Derby, I met Nick Rawstron um, and there is a story to the name actually uh, which are a point I'll come back to people remembering people's names. I'm very good at remembering people's names, but on the day uh, I experienced uh, something I've never experienced. So while I was climbing the tower, I constantly had to keep asking uh, the trainer's name. Um, no matter how many times he told me his name, I was unable to remember it. And it's the human body, when it's dealing with um, fear and uh, uh, when, when you've got that fight or flight mode, uh, your senses shut down and you really concentrate on the task at hand. So I apologised a number of times to Nick for forgetting his name and I, I, I will remember it until the day I die. So I went to Derby, I was given harness training, um, I was put into uh, full PPE, hard hat, boots, gloves, uh, and all the associated equipment that you'd expect when you're climbing a tower. Um, as I went to the tower, uh, naively, I said, uh, I said to the trainer, where's the ladder? Thinking there was a ladder that goes up the middle of the tower. And he said to me, no, you, there's no ladder, you don't climb a ladder, you climb on the pegs on the outside of the tower. Um, to say that my legs wobbled would be uh, would be untruthful. I, I was I physically shook. I, I was absolutely terrified. I'm you know I'm being honest. And then we got into climbing mode. Uh, so Nick went up the tower first, followed by me. Nick had a GoPro camera, uh, so he could record the event. And um, we took some photographs uh, as so I could look back on it. Um, I remember I remember a colleague saying to me, if you get to a point where you really can't do it, then don't do it. You know, you don't have to do it. And as we got to the first outrigger and stood to have a rest, Nick went, continued to climb, and I was catching my breath. And I stood there, for, well, I stood there for a minute, and I thought, I don't have to do this. I'm going to tell him I'm going back down. And he said to me, he, he, he could pick up on, he's a you know, really good coach, really good, somebody really good at mentoring people um, to, to learn, the, learn how to climb a tower. And I, as I was about to say to him, I need to go down, he went, come on Mark, let's not waste any time, keep going. And that actually spurred me on to keep going. Um, and I did get to the top um, and it was a massive experience. Those towers uh, look big when you're looking up at them and they're even bigger when you're standing on, at the top of a tower. Uh, absolutely huge. Um, and what it taught me, it taught me two things. One, it taught me about what happens when you're frightened of something, how your senses can shut down. Um, and the second thing, it taught me uh, to respect people that do those jobs. I could not do that job for a living and we have people up on the lines uh, every day, day in, day out, delivering huge projects in remote locations and I'll, I'll, I'll always respect uh, people for doing something that I wouldn't want to do myself. So um, I made my commitment, I delivered on my commitment, but I will not be climbing the tower again.